What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Great War mod. We are playing as Russian Empire. Last episode, we were working on trying to industrialize here pretty quickly. I'm finishing out a couple of these naval dockyards here. We've got another uh, sort of civilian factory in the queue here. And then we're going to start building out some additional military factories because we do need to boost up our infantry equipment production, our gun production, right? We do need to, um, okay, we did just uh, get a couple of new researches here that we need to sort of finish off. Um, hmm. 1914 on all of these, so still a ways to go on all of those. We could start researching out some airplane stuff, you know, a fighter, for example, but that is a long ways away as well. So I'm going to swing one of these here into the land doctrine like this, and then I'm going to take this one and go naval doctrine here at 292 days. And so we're also working on the war medicine and vest pocket camera there. Also building up some military, or excuse me, uh, army experience to upgrade our templates. Okay, so I'm continuing to plug in these dockyards wherever I can. Double check our resources here really quickly. We're going to run at speed five while we continue to build up towards the war here. Exporting quite a bit of wood and coal, as well as chromium, uh, steel, ex not exporting as much of that, and some oil as well. Okay, those are coming up. Uh, put you there. Very good. And then we'll put this one here. Constructions. Okay, we're on to the civilian factory now. We're starting to produce out more military factories, and so... For these military factories, uh, I'm going to want one to go here, one to go here. Very good. Political effort finished up. Whoops, I meant to plug that one into that. Uh, na new national focus now. So we can either choose to uh, get some more political power going by... I think that's what we want to do, actually, is get the diplomatic effort up and up and going. Uh, this guy, we're going to choose military theorist here. So that's going to give me that additional experience gain, and I'm going to turn exercise off for both of my field marshals here. And so a lot of these units now, at least showing as trained or regular. Same with purple group here. Yep. Looking good there. So we've turned off the exercise, which will allow us to actually continue producing out uh, more infantry guns. But look at uh, how much we are unfavored here. The enemy is considered stronger. Of course they are. So, vest pocket camera is finished. Let's pause. I need to continue boosting up the infantry here. Oh, that's right. It does cost nine to add. Shit. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, Production-wise now, we're making over 60 guns per day. We're also working on that support equipment there at 2.28 per day. And so I do need to add in artillery eventually, but we need to wait for this to come to nine. Uh, oh, whoops, almost forgot we need a new research here. So trench excavation, for example, we could get. Uh, we could also try to go for the siege artillery here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Next, uh, 227 days left on my doctrines there. Mass charge. Planning speed plus 12%, division speed plus 5%, organization loss when moving. Yikes. So we do take a hit there a little bit. Um, another thing I'm thinking is we need to watch out up here in the north and make sure that the Germans, for example, don't invade St. Petersburg through a naval invasion. I'm hoping to keep that sort of at bay with my fleet that's out in the Baltic now. All right, new research here needed now. Um, 794 days there. Armor-wise, we're looking at 544 days there. 657, uh, 493. Let's go ahead and get that one going. That's just going to be over a year, so we'll get that in 1912, which will give us some additional boost, right? Um, soft attack goes up uh, across the board there, so that's good to see. My divisions are pretty crappy compared to the German ones, um, I can tell already. But the good news is now we're up to 76 per day there for the infantry equipment. Battle of Deceik, Ottoman Empire is too weak, yes we know that. I have 74 factories currently, manpower down to 3.8 million, and so 
Um, we have plenty of manpower to play with here, which is great. Let's queue up some more military factories here. And we also need to go ahead and grab a new doctrine or national focus. And so for the national focus, let's go back over here because it is 1911, right? The construction effort here will help us out as well as the armament effort. I do think armament effort is more important at this point for Russia. Free military factory, we'll put you right there. So to boost up that support equipment production. Currently stockpiling a ton of field guns. I've got 1.1k in the bank there. We have a little bit of motorized there, the horse-drawn vehicles. Those are coming up at about one per day as well. Time to also pick one of these. Quartermaster General. Armaments Organizer, that's the conversion there. Captain of Industry. Compassionate Gentleman. I was hoping for something that would improve uh, national unity because you can see we're at 58% there, which is pretty bad. Chief of Army. Recovery rate goes up. Maneuver goes up. Organization. Army Offense. Uh, we do need that organization boost because we do have, let's see, uh, this one. Organization minus 5% here because of the humiliation from the um, Japanese there. All right, a couple more military factories here now to use, so we'll put them directly into the infantry equipment production. The next one's popping up. We will plug into support equipment, I think. But this is going up now over 85 per day. And so you can see total need down down, and heading down towards 22,000 even. So reinforcements-wise, right, we're making sure we're delivering guns up to the front. It is uh, 16,000 needed in order to complete that out. Uh, Machu Picchu uncovered. Sweet. We've got to wait till 1913 on this guy here. We're going to get the construction effort up and going. Military factories here again. We'll plug you into the support equipment. Construction-wise, I want to queue up some additional military factories, right? But eventually, you know, once we complete that, I'll just go like this. Eventually, we're going to want to make sure our trenches are really good. Whoops, Siege Artillery Upgrade is finished for that. Building trenches along the lines now. Here, all across the German sort of persuasion here. And we want to make sure we've got a nice defensive line set up. So we're going to build a trench all the way across the country. There we go. All right. So those are queued up. Uh, military factories here again. I can give one and one. Very nice. Okay. Up over 103 per day now on the infantry equipment production there. So that need is going down pretty rapidly. It's July of 1911. We got a free dockyard here. Oh, and that's because... We only had one of those queued up for the protected cruiser. So let's bring that back up and running. Uh, Convoy-wise, we've got 92. You know, it may make sense to start stockpiling some convoys, right? I'll give that um, two dockyards there. We also, where was it? The battle cruiser here. Yeah. Uh, give you another two, three. All right stockpiling and then we need to send you to St. Petersburg of course here so we've already got a new fleet up and running Agadir crisis tension is growing he has a battle cruiser and a protected cruiser sitting there time for a new research now 581 days there 581 695 this helps our defense this helps our defense and breakthrough percentage as well. So let's get the early support weapons up and going. Even though that is a ways away, right? Um, I believe that is most important for us as we head towards 1914. Man, I really want to get the new recruitments underway here as quickly as possible. We can go ahead and upgrade this to show artillery here. Very good. So that's going to put those field guns, field gun production to work. 
total need of 1300 so I'll add that military factory there and we're gonna want to continue well we may plug in some additional military factories as the trenches are working Mona Lisa has been stolen nice army experience of six now so uh, let's go ahead I tell you what uh, we'll plug this right there so taking a balanced approach or at least trying to in uh, production here construction effort is now finished so let's move towards the dockyard expansion here I want to plug uh, be able to get a couple of those extra ones to plug in we're gonna probably throw them at the battle cruiser production there uh, we've only got 2.5 months left on the dreadnought 2 coming out after we reach level 9 here, uh, Mexican opposition is finished. Porifio Diaz fled to Spain, okay. So this uh, template's going to be updated here. King, oh, okay, we've got a uh, rebellion in the Xinhai Revolution, right, in China. Going on. Need to put some infantry back into this template here once we get enough army experience. All right, back to the production side of things now. Let's go ahead and plug that into support equipment and support equipment there. Very nice. Those are taking a while to produce out, right? It's only showing at, uh, well, we're getting closer to five per day there. Uh, artillery is already sitting at that level. Let's add some infantry into the template here, like that. So of course, uh, that puts what our combat width up to 17 now. High Seas Fleet is finished, that Doctrine. Mass Charge is also finished. So let's continue down the Doctrine's way like this and this. Uh, that's going to help out my organization there, 292 days. To finish that off, we are still showing it is massively underwhelming here on the Western Front. We may try to delay... Yeah, I don't know. We may try to delay entrance into the war because of that. I'm not going to be fully prepared. I'm getting the feeling... Uh, constructions now okay still working on these additional military factories so that's good to see okay we just popped out another one here let's go ahead and add you to the infantry equipment production we're gonna need that because we just increased our needs there at the front line but we're down to at least um, okay we've got the Italians fighting the Ottomans now Italian invasion of Libya um, we need air service in order to get this one here to add air bases across the Empire, right? Infantry, that's January 1912, so that is coming up. We could swing back over here towards diplomatic stuff. Western focus would give us some um, politics in Scandinavia. Two coastal fort, two military factory. Oh, that's cool. Politics in Scandinavia. It's not mutually exclusive, so we could still head down this way. Uh, reject the reforms, right? That does give us a bonus for the land doctrine. Division speed, army experience. Uh, we get a new general out of that versus army experience of 100. Condemn the Marxist ideas. We have to... Okay, we could adopt the reforms or reject here. So, um, tell you what, this is going to be very helpful. Let's adopt the reforms there at 70 days. Two more dockyards here we'll put in like that. Because what that'll do is it'll give me 100 army experience where I can just basically update my infantry template to be basically done. Field hospital. Don't really need a field hospital, right? Because we've got plenty of manpower. Go ahead and do something like that. And let's add some more support equipment there. The next one that's built will finish up. So let's continue queuing up military factories here along the Empire. And I'm going to put these ahead of the trench again because that is more important right now. Moving those all the way up the list. Very good. All right, cool. So they're going to continue working on that. We've got some that are already halfway built up down here, so that's good. South Pole has been reached. Very nice. Here's our little new fleet that's coming up now. Two protected cruisers, one battleship, one battle cruiser. So that's looking pretty good. 
The doctrines are going to be very, very important, right? Soft attack, that's going to be good. Hard attack. Soft attack is probably the way I'm going to go here. Plus, we get some organization down this way. Oh, look at the organization, though, for this. That organization is key. Um, division speed, soft attack. Ah, it's hard to it's hard to really pick that at this time. Soft attack is only twenty eight. Defense is getting up there, so that's nice to see. Ah, uh, we're finally plugging in equipment to the trainings down there. Still working on support equipment and field guns here for the front lines, though. So adding in that artillery is going to be helpful. Almost done with the next set of military factories. Adopt the reforms is finished. Great. So I want to go down here to condemning the Marxist ideas is what I'm thinking. Daily communist support. Yep. Um, reject the reforms here. National unity base. National unity. National unity. Fascism. Shit. Shit. Reject the reforms. So we can't get these national unities here. Reinforce the Tsar authority. Damn, I didn't know we couldn't go here. Next. Requires one of the following. Oh, it's 1917 for that. Okay. Woo! That scared me a little bit. Um... We need to discuss the Tsar Authority. Let's look at something here really quickly. Fascist demagogue. Captain of industry. Armaments organizer. Okay. Hmm. 1917 is a really long time to wait for this. I could direct my attention elsewhere, though. Orthodox Brotherhood, right? Appeasement in the Balkans, Balkans policy, gain national base, unity of five there. We need that. Western focus. We can go down this line as well. Okay, so let's go Balkan politics here. Political power plus 100, but I get a nice little national unity boost there, which is going to be important, right? And really quickly, if we check on the factions... Okay, Serbia currently not part of the Entente there. Okay, let's unpause it here again. Total need of infantry equipment has gone down significantly now, so that's good. Let's put this here into the support equipment production. We need some additional aluminum as well, some al aluminum. So let's go ahead and trade for that. We got that coming in now. That's good. So we're going to move this support equipment production up so far that uh, it's going to really help us out. Okay, now, infantry here, infantry here. That combat width goes up to 21, which is about where we want it to be. Here we're going to add, let's see, maintenance company does not help. Organization goes down here. Supply usage goes down. Uh... Grand Duke Wilhelm dies. The Balkan League is formed as well. Let's double check the template here because what's my organization at? 52. Hmm. Entrenchment 5. Combat with 21. Breakthrough of only 15. Defense is up to 144, so that's good. Soft attack is also increased. Logistics may be helpful. Reliability on... Yeah, that's going to have, like, if I have tanks and such, support artillery here, breakthrough, soft attack, plus defense. We could put some extra artillery in the mix. Let's do that. And then let's add supply usage minus 10%. Let's do that as well. So now we have a nice little uh, Russian division there with a combat width of 21, which is right where I like to be. So that did put the requirements back up here. So we've got to plug in new men, of course. So those guys will be delivered accordingly. Support equipment, infantry equipment is also being put in there as well. Okay. 
uh, two more factories to put in here. We need to start adding into the field artillery as well. But now we're up to over eight per day. So we're getting closer to 10 per day there. Free military factory now. We'll give it to you. Constructions. Uh, it is May 1912, the end of the Xinghai Revolution. Okay, we need to queue up some more military factories, don't we? So we'll put these towards the top of the list here again. Like this. Awesome. All right, cool, guys. Looking good. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content, and we'll catch you next time.